I like it. Just sit on top of all your enemies, everybody. I welcome you tonight. Hallelujah. Please. Please move, remove the echo for me, please. I welcome you tonight in Jesus' mighty name. Um, in a short exhortation. I want to share on what I call the four revelations of Christmas. Now, when we talk about this Christmas, you know we're talking about his birth. So, what are the revelations that is revealed to us at his birth? John chapter 3 and verse 16. Bible said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth shall not perish, but shall have everlasting life. For God so loved the world. Now, when Bible said God loved the world, it's not just the land God loved. It's not just the trees that God loved. God is talking about man. He loved the world. He loved man. Do you know why? Even though his birth affected everything that was created by God, but man was the most important. Why? Because everything that God created, none had the image of God. Are we together? None had the image of God. It's only man that had, it, had the image of God. When God was creating everything, God only spoke those things into existence. Let there be light. Let the, 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 the sea bring forth sea creatures. Let there be birds in the air. But when it has to do with man, God changed his system. The Bible said, are we together? The Bible said that God made a statement and said, come, let us. Which means God involved God in the making of a man. Now, for God to involve God, it shows us the, the value God placed on man. It shows us how important man is in the agenda of God. God did not just say, let it be man. God will have said, let it be man. How many of you know that it was not man alone that has flesh? There are other things that were created that had flesh. But the way they were created was not the way man was created. The way man was created was superior to the way they were created. In the making of man, gods were involved. Gods were involved. That shows us how important man is. I want you to know that you are important in God's plan. Very, very important. If there's anything I like you never to forget. If it's a revelation I'd like you to live with throughout your, the days of your life is that I am important in the hand of God. There is a reason for which God has made you. And can I shock you? Man was made to take care of everything God created. So the one that takes care is more important than other things. Every other thing, man, God was created, God, or God created, was under the control of man. So man was more important. The one that will manage the creation is as important as the creation. Now put it this way, the man that will manage the creation, him alone equals all the creation. Because if the manager be not in place, creation will struggle. If the manager be not in place, creation will lose its value. Creation will not be able to achieve the purpose for which they were created. So the man was so important. And we all know the story how man failed. And because man failed, everything on it failed everything if you look at it in romans 8 the bible says that that even the creations were subjected unto vanity creations creations we are subjected unto bondage because man failed creation lost its place creation lost its 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 value creation you know creation was disconnected from its source that adam faith simply means everything on earth lost their connection with god when adam died everything died So because of how important man is, God has to come back to restore man. 
Because God knows that in restoring man, everything too shall be restored back. When man lost the connection with God, everything lost connection with God. Now, do you know, it's like, it's like, see what it, what it means. It's like, if your eyeball is blocked out of socket, of what use will be the eyeball? That your eyes is seen is because it's connected to the socket. If it is plucked out, it becomes useless. If your arms are cut off from your hand, of what use will be the arm? If your head is cut off from your body, of what use will be your body? So that was what it means. Man was plucked out of source. So he stopped having resources that will make him live on it to fulfill God's agenda. And God needs that connection. God needs that connection. Because without that connection, man who was made to be an extension of God will no more extend God. Man came from heaven. I told you that man was a spirit. Is it true? The spirit didn't come from earth. It was in the womb that he took up flesh to live on earth. Originally, man wasn't flesh. Man was a spirit. Man was the breath of God. I've told you many times that every time you hear about man, you are hearing about the energy that was in God that was released into a womb for nine months to take up flesh and come to the earth. Every man on earth is an energy in God. Every man on earth is a potential. Am I talking? Every man on earth is a potential in God. Every man in, 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 is a potential in God. We all are potentials in God. Now, whenever God wants to solve a problem, what will he do? He will release an ability in him and that ability will enter into the flesh and stay nine months, take up flesh and come out as a man. He is a flesh, but not really a man. He is a man, not really a man. He is a man that, that, that a spirit is living into. And that spirit is called the energy of God. You are not just a man, you are an energy of God. You are an ability in God. Have you wondered why every time there's a problem, a man solves the problem? There's no problem on earth that was solved by, by an angel. Angels don't solve problems on earth. They are ministering spirits. So they are being sent, they are, they are messengers. They are being sent to minister. They don't solve problems. But man solves problems. Because every time God wants to solve a problem, do you know what God will do? God will release an ability. That ability will enter into the womb. After nine months, a baby boy will drop and they will call him your name. And the, the, the parents will be saying, wow, a baby boy is born. We are glad. We are glad. Or a baby girl is born. We are glad. But can I shock you? What was born was not just a baby girl. It's a baby that has a female body but inside of her the energy of God can I shock you you are not just a man you are an energy of God oh if you how I wish you can understand what I'm talking about you are not just a woman you are an energy of God you are God's ability sent into the womb to take up flesh and when you drop out like flesh you now begin to fulfill the demands of he that is in the flesh so when man died god has to do everything to restore man the birth of jesus is the birth of restoration of man back to his original place the first revelation of his birth was the restoration of man the birth of jesus marked the beginning of the restoration process it was not the completeness of it his birth marked the beginning that climatized itself at his death resurrection and ascension so that was the beginning of it if he was not born he wouldn't have died if he was not born he wouldn't have died why would he die because he was born are you are we together he, 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 he you can't kill a man who is not born but why was he born so that the restoration of man will begin at his birth restoration of man back to his original place began when he dropped there was a change of song the one that got disconnected back the one that got disconnected from god is about to be connected back 
the one that lost his place in God is about to take back his place the one who was a governor that now became a slave is now to leave the place of slavery and become a governor he was originally born to be the one who cannot be sick that has suddenly become sick is about to leave the place of sickness and to go back to the place of health the one who used to be very rich but 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 when he got disconnected he became very poor is now to be restored back there is a calling there is a calling out of where the devil kept man onto where god has originally kept man ladies and gentlemen the birth of jesus marked it herald the beginning of the restoration of man from where the devil kept him onto where God has originally kept for him. Which means, as we celebrate Christmas this year, God will be bringing you back to your original place. Yeah. Whatever you've lost before, you are getting them back. Yeah. You lost favor, favor is coming back. You lost honor, honor is coming back. You lost power, power is coming back. You lost glory, glory is coming back. You lost your health, your health is being restored. It is the beginning of a restoration process of man back to his original place where he used to be and everything was under his control. Today, may you gain back your control. If you love yourself, that means I'll be made better than strong. So we are celebrating Christmas today, doing one thing, celebrating the process of we being restored back God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth shall no more perish that's restoration we already perish we have perished already shall no more perish which means from today anytime there's a disaster happening shout I can't perish you get to a place and they told you the disease in your body you're going to die shout no i can't perish if they care to ask you how dare you say you can't perish tell them for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth shall not perish because he has everlasting life you tell them i have everlasting life now people with this kind of life they don't perish by cancer they will eat deadly poison it shall by no means harm them so when you eat deadly poison don't be scared that doesn't mean, I'm not asking you to just go and say give me poison let me eat no if by any chance poison crosses your body I'm telling you by the revelation of scripture by the restoration of the glory of God upon our land poison will become vitamin C yeah. the question now is can you believe it the first re revelation is the revelation of restoration second revelation for God to love the world that he gave which means in Christmas we are seeing the greatest gift of God made available for man it is the celebration of the greatest gift because there is no other gift that can be given by heaven that is superior to Jesus Bible called Jesus the only begotten that may be a special being only begotten which means in the class of jesus he is the only one there is no other with that species there is no other in that species there is no other in that breed he is the only bible called him the only begotten of a father in that class of creation he is the only one there is no one else like him only so if everything god created were three z z zillion in number he was the only one there can be many mountains you can tell me there is zuma rock there is the mount of kilimanjaro there are different mountains there's Achua mountain uh, there are mountains everywhere there are different rivers there's this this lake Chad. there is the red sea there are rivers everywhere there are different kinds of fishes there is the catfish the tilapia fish there are different kinds of animals there's the monkey there is the gorilla there is the baboon everything you mention has their categories fixed in one or when it has to do with the son of god him alone no other so when god gave him is the greatest gift so the second revelation is that christmas is the revelation of the greatest gift of god to man to man God so loved the world that he gave the greatest gift. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I won't give you four, I'll give you these two. The greatest gift of God. Greatest gift of God. Why do I call it the greatest gift? Do you know that in the greatest gift is all other gifts? The gift of Jesus was the gift of everything. When God gave Jesus, he gave us everything. You know why? Jesus was the source of everything. If the source of everything is given, what does that mean? Everything is given. John chapter 1 and verse 3, the Bible says, For by it, nothing that was created, that was created. By it. Put it this way. Through him, everything that was to be created, was created. Anything you can never imagine that was created. The source of them all was him. By him was all things that was created, created. He was the womb of everything. He was the warehouse of everything. He was the stockhouse of everything. He was the raw material of everything. In him, every finished product began. Ladies and gentlemen, he is called the greatest gift. Unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. He is the gift of God. Are we together? He is the gift of God. Don't just look at him. He's a man. But no, 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 no. Anytime we hear Jesus, hear that the gift of God is given. Now, the gift of God in this sense is not just a gift. It is the greatest gift. How do I call it the greatest gift? It is a gift of gifts. It is a gift that every other gift is inside of it. Child of God, in Jesus is health. In Jesus is favor. In Jesus is glory. In Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. In Jesus is everything you can ever imagine. There is nothing the Father has that Jesus doesn't have access to. Jesus said, Jesus said, come. <laughs> Jesus said, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comment unto the Father except by me. So he is the way to the Father. And if you get to the Father, you have access to everything. The, Jesus can be called the the, the, the the key to the Father. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the greatest gift. The greatest gift. Because he's given, there is no small gift that cannot be given. If the greatest was given, what would the smallest do? I'll give you this scripture I'll close. Romans 8 and verse 32. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him freely give us all things? Can I give me attention? Can we do it again? Somebody catch what I'm saying tonight. He that spared not his own son, but freely, freely give him up for us all Bible now says how shall he not with him also freely give us all things he was given freely to us so that freely we shall receive all things from him every other thing that you need is in one gift if we gave the greatest gift giving you the small gift is no problem the small gift is favor. You can't confer favor to Jesus. The small gift is money. You can't compare money to Jesus. The small gift is health. You can't compare Jesus to health. I'm not talking to anybody here. The small gift is a car. You can't compare Jesus to a car. Can I ask you, is there anything can, that can be compared to he that is the source of all things? No! No! So as we celebrate Christmas, celebrate the fact that you are celebrating the greatest gift of God. The gift of gifts. The gift in which other gifts are in him. Other gifts are in him. You are looking for life in him. Faith in him. Power in him. Way in him. Truth in him. Life in him. What again can you look for? The man that has the greatest gift has other gifts. The Bible said, if he did not spare his only son, if he did not spare him, and goodness, goodness, hear me, he did not spare him for your sake. He released him for your sake. The Bible said, if he could release Jesus for your sake, 
he said is there another thing he will not alongside with jesus release to you are you looking for a job job is in christ one favor in christ will start to you in a big job Amen. are you believing god for money money is in christ there's an unknown thing that is in christ we've known the grace of our lord Jesus Christ. even though he was rich for our sake he became poor now we through his purpose have been made rich everything you can ever imagine is in him he is called the greatest gift so the celebration of jesus or christmas is a celebration of how we receive the greatest gift that has other gifts for us by the gift of christ there is no other thing you will ever look for that heaven won't give you if god could give the only son giving you favor is small if god could give his only son giving you house is small if god could give his only son giving you health is small everything you're looking for is small he has given the greatest and in the greatest is the smallest i thought i was talking to somebody i thought the person i'm talking to should have made me know he's the one i'm talking about Your shout is shouting and see if the batteries are weak. Yeah. The, great, the smaller gifts are in the greater one. The small is in the great. So when I have the great, I have a small. Now can I shock you? If you're looking for my chair and you're outside of my house, you look for it, tired, you won't get it. But if you enter my house, you have access to my chair. Everything you're looking for is in the house. And who is the house? Jesus. As you're stepping into Jesus, you're stepping into everything. And we are telling you, healing is yours. Amen. Favor is yours. Amen. Goodness is yours. Amen. Open love, open heaven is yours. Amen. Open doors is yours. Amen. Movement is yours. Amen. You can't be stopped anymore. Amen. Anything that tries to stop you, tell that stupid devil. I have the greatest gift. The small ones are available in the greatest. I have the greatest. I can't have the greatest and miss the smallest. I prophesy to somebody today. Because Jesus was given to us as a son of God. Any other thing you are looking for, begin to receive it now. Amen. Can I tell you this one thing? I was told this afternoon, you know. <laughs> you know that before Jesus, man was looking for everything. I'm looking for everything, looking for everything, looking for everything, looking for everything, looking for everything. But when Jesus came, we are not meant to be looking for things anymore. We are meant to be receiving everything. If I'm you, my, my claps, I'll be as if I understand. Take it from me. Are you sick? Stop looking for health. Begin to receive. Are you consistently at fear? Stop looking for faith. Begin to receive. Are your doors locked? Stop asking for open doors. Begin to receive the keys to enter your doors. Are you struggling with sin? Stop saying, God, who will come and deliver me? Hey, collect righteousness. Everything in Christ is all about receiving, 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 receiving now! That's Christmas. B, that's before me. That's Christmas. Restoration process began. Greatest gift of God. And the greatest gift carries the smaller gifts. So if I have the greatest gift, the small gifts are valuable for me. I don't need to look for them anymore. I only need to keep on receiving, 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 receiving. And how do I receive? I receive by believing them. If this peace dress is in Jesus, I won't I won't come to ask him, give me. I'll just say, Father, thank you. I have it already. I'm wearing it now by faith. Can I say something now? In Jesus, eh? You don't need naira. You don't need city. You don't need pounds. Heaven has its own currency. Have you forgotten the day I told us? Bible said, Come now, buy ye bread without money. Have you forgotten? That was during the 30 days of, of grace. I told us there's a heaven's currency. Heaven's currency is not naira, it's not city, it's not pounds, it's not euro. There is legal tender of heaven. Bible said, For by it the elders obtained. 
by it they obtained which means with that legal currency of heaven you begin to obtain things so in Christ Jesus we obtain by faith there is a currency that will settle you hey do you know the truth if you have the currency of in Christ the natural currency will begin to look for you and what is the heavenly currency your faith by faith the heir has obtained they obtained they obtained good report which means their report was bad but faith in God faith in Christ Jesus made all their bad bad report to become good one I pray for you as you celebrate Christmas this year may every bad report around you turn to good one I say may every bad report around you turn to good one in the name of Jesus lift your hand and scream and shout the name that will establish you forever lift your hand and say father thank you because the birth of jesus marked the beginning of restoration process for man thank you father the birth of jesus marked the release of god's greatest gift i have the greatest gift and because i have the greatest gift every other small gift inclusive in the great gift is now mine i begin to receive them now by faith lift your hand and just open your mouth and and, 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 and and declare your revelation this night verbalize your revelation verbalize your revelation somebody verbalize your revelation verbalize your revelation 